Let's talk about Intel holding the grand opening for their $3 billion factory stateside. Intel holds grand opening for $3 billion factory expansion in Hillsboro, Oregon. Today, Intel marked the grand opening of the newest expansion of D1X, its state-of-the-art and lead factory located in Hillsboro, Oregon. Senior government officials and community leaders were on hand for the company's ribbon-cutting ceremony. Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger emphasized its favorable influence in Oregon and restated its pledge to U.S. leadership in semiconductor research and development. Intel also announced a new name for the nearly 500-acre campus in honor of the site's origin of innovative technologies, the Gordon Moore Park at Ronler Acres. That's fun. It's Moore's Law. The remaining renaming, sorry, the renaming of the site gives recognition to the area's exceptional assistance in driving Moore's Law. Intel co-founder Gordon Moore's 1965 foretelling that has operated unique in invention discoveries in the semiconductor industry for over 50 years. Quote, since its founding, Intel has been devoted to relentlessly advancing Moore's Law. This new factory space will bolster our ability to deliver the accelerated process roadmap required to support our bold IDM 2.0 strategy. Oregon is a the longtime heart of our global semiconductor R&D, and I can think of no better way to honor Gordon Moore's legacy than by bestowing his name on this campus, which, like him, has had such a tremendous role in advancing our industry. Gordon Moore Park is the center for Intel's International Technology Development Association, which is responsible for progressing Moore's Law by constructing new transistor architectures, wafer processes, and packaging technologies that mirror the company's product roadmap and supply the basis for applications varying from PCs to cloud infrastructure to 5G networks. The crew of roughly 10,000 employees, primarily established in Hillsboro, is widely acknowledged as one of the world's notable silicon processing, process engineering associations. Over the last 25 years, the uh, engineers and scientists at the Gordon Moore Park campus have frequently encountered and overpowered the challenges posed by physics when the elements on a chip minimize to the extent of particles. Intel has consistently supplied foundational process creations to keep rate with Moore's law with innovations like high K metal gate technology, tri-gate 3D transistors, and strain silicon. Quote, these groundbreaking process innovations all originated right here in Oregon. With the new expansion of our D1X factory, Oregon is well posed to deliver the next generation of leading edge technologies. Semiconductors are fundamental to U.S. technology leadership, our economy, and supply chain resilience. Intel, and that is the important one right here, supply chain resilience, guys. Intel is the only company in the world with the majority of its process and packaging R&D and high volume leading edge semiconductor manufacturing in the United States. Once again, I want to reiterate the importance here right now, especially with everything going on globally, is that the U.S. has this being built here. And it's important, especially for supply chain right now, uh, especially with everything going on with China, uh, kind of their threat to take over Taiwan. And, you know, I believe it was Malaysia that Intel had moved a lot of manufacturing to. And then we still have, I believe, another Intel factory announced for Ohio. Correct me if I'm wrong. I have to do all of this live and off the top of my head. I didn't have a chance to pull that out, but I believe it's Ohio as well. So this is all really good news. In 2021, Intel revealed one of the most intricate process technology roadmaps in its longstanding history. The company has shifted to an increased rate of innovation to promote the, an annual rhythm of advancements, leveraging futuristic technologies that will drive new products over the, three, over the next three years and further, including Ribbon FET, which is the, new, the, the first new transistor architecture in over 10 years. Power Via, a new backside power delivery method, is a first for the industry. And the utilization of high NA UEV, EUV next-gen lithography. I apologize for my dys dyslexia there. With Mod 3, a more than $3 billion investment to expand D1X, 
Intel engineers now have an extra 270,000 square feet of space to design next-gen silicon process technologies. Multiple logic, logic process technologies are in different stages of the development cycle in the D1X factory. The technology development team assembles the baseline manufacturing tech needed to convey innovations to fruition. New process technologies are then repositioned identically from the central development factory in Oregon to Intel's global network of high volume manufacturing locations. The web of factories and development factory cooperative to drive or, or cooperate to drive operational advancements. This direction by Intel allows for a fast rate of operation, fast learning and satisfactory quality control. This largest expansion constructs on Intel's 50 year history of financing in Oregon. Intel's processes in Oregon are its most considerable concentration of facilities and skills worldwide with 22,000 employees across four campuses in Hillsboro. The Mod 3 expansion uh, ushers Intel's total investment in Oregon to more than $52 billion. Intel's full yearly economic impact is more than 105,000 jobs and more than $10 billion in labor income and $19 billion in gross domestic product. These are the kind of moves obviously we need in the United States. I would also hopefully see hopefully we'll see this you know translate into the gpu market eventually for intel moving into that here soon as well as the asic market which we're aware that they're working on as well and don't forget i believe we have a whole other factory coming up in ohio as well so I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.